Hey everybody, hope you are doing well. In the previous video, we revised list. Now it's time to solve the questions based on the list. Alright then, let's check out the question from the sample paper for the current session. We got one question based on the list. In this question, we need to predict the output of the code. Look at the first statement. There are three elements in the list. The first one is integer, the second one is float and the third element is a complex number. Hope you know in python number are of three types. The first one is integer, second one is float and the third type is complex. Complex number is of the form a plus bj where a is the real part and b is the imaginary part. Please note one more point about real part. It will always be float. We discuss it because we need it. Alright, let's check out the second statement. With l of 2 we are trying to access this element which is at the index 2. And using this real property, we are accessing the real part of this number. Look at this complex number. The real part is nothing but 30. Here is the type function for the real part. As we discuss, we know what will be the data type of the real part. It will be nothing but float. That's why the correct option will be D. The type of real is float. Hope you understood this explanation. Now let's proceed to the next question based on list. We could find one question that is question number 8. Let's read the question carefully. What operation does the statement del l minus 2 colon perform on a list? In the previous video, we discussed there are different ways to delete the element from the list. One option is pop, the second is remove, third is del. What is the speciality of del statement? We can delete slice. So this is also nothing but slice. Let's try to understand by taking some random elements of the list. There are total 5 elements. Here we are dealing with the negative indices. So let's write the negative index. In this slicing, this is the starting and ending is not mentioned means whole list will be considered. Starting is minus 2. Then from here we need to start deleting the element and we will go up to end of the list. It means what? We are deleting the last two elements of the list. Now let's read the options carefully. First is deletes last two elements from the given list. And from this example we understood this operation only del statement gonna do. But let's read the remaining one. Deletes all except last two elements. This is not true. What's the third statement? Delete all except last element from the given list. This is also not true. And the last option is error. This is also not true. Then the correct option is nothing but A. Hope you understood this explanation too. Let's move further and check whether there are some questions based on the list or not. I could find one more question that is question number 24. In this we need to tell the built-in functions or method for the following task. Let's consider the task which are based on list. To add an element at the beginning of the list. To insert elements in the list, there are three methods. One is append, the second one is extend and the third one is insert. But these two methods adds the element at the end. Then to add the element at the specified location, we will be using insert method. Let's write the name of the method, insert. It will apply on the list L. So let's write it. Insert method takes two parameters. First is the position and second is the item. We need to add the element at the beginning. Beginning means index will be 0. And let's take a variable name as element itself. We got our answer. Now look at this to add any three elements to the end of the list. Now out of these two methods we need to use one of them. But append method is used to add only single element. Then we will be using extend. The name of the list is l.extend. The extend method takes the list. So let's write the elements. Let's name it element 1, comma element 2 and the third element will be element 3. We got our answer. There is one more question based on the list in which we need to predict the output. Output based question we will cover in the next video. In this video we are gonna cover only theory questions. To get more practice let's check out one more set of the sample paper for the current session. Let's scroll and check the questions based on list. We got one question that is question number 2. Here is one list the name of the list is AL with some elements. 
विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट रिमूव द मिडल एलिमेंट थ्री फ्रॉम एट सो दैट द लिस्ट इक्वल्स वन टू फोर फाइव इट मीन्स वी हैव टू डिलीट दिस एलिमेंट थ्री सो लेट्स चेक आउट द ऑप्शन द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज डेल स्टेटमेंट वी नो विद द डेल स्टेटमेंट वी नीड टू राइट इंडेक्स नॉट द वैल्यू हियर वी आर मेन्शनिंग द वैल्यू सो दिस इज रॉन्ग to delete the elements from the list we have different options the first one is pop the second one is remove the third one is del statement and there is one more method clear which will delete all the elements out of these four options we got del but let me tell you apart from these functions we can delete the item using the concept of slicing with the slicing for that part if we initialize empty list that element will get deleted same concept we are applying here so let's check out the second option this is the starting index and here is the ending index we are initializing the empty string with this we are getting the slicing nothing but this element which is at the index 2 what will be the result of this statement ultimately the element 3 will get deleted actually we got our answer the b option is the correct one but let's discuss the remaining two In the next option you know this slicing is not correct because the ending index is exclusive so you cannot mention like this now look at the last statement here is only one index it means it indicates a single element not the slice and for a single element we cannot initialize a list it's a type error that's why you will get exception in the last statement so out of all this the correct choice is b with slicing also we can delete the elements from the list hope you understood this explanation while scrolling in this set i got one more output based question that we will cover in the next video if you need more practice feel free to go through this video there are lot of questions we solve from different sample papers as well as from the board papers In case of any doubt let me know in the comments below. Here is a sample paper for the current session. Let's check the questions from this paper too. All right, question number 8 is based on list. What does list.removex method do in python? Let's read the options one by one carefully. Removes the element at index x. Always keep in mind pop takes the index, remove method takes the value. del statement takes the index it means the first statement is wrong let's read the next statement removes the first occurrence of value x from the list this is absolutely correct keep this point also in mind regarding remove method that it removes only the first occurrence so the option b is the correct option but let's read the remaining word remove all the occurrences no this is wrong removes the last occurrence this is also wrong ultimately b is the correct choice let's scroll and check out for more questions on list here is one more theory question based on list there are two list we need to mention the building functions or methods for the following task let's read the first one write a statement to count the occurrences of 4 in l1 for counting the occurrences we have count method we need to count the occurrences of 4 this method is getting applied on the list l1 here is the next task we need to sort the elements in the ascending order it's very simple for sorting we have sort method which is getting applied on the l1 list if you want to sort the items in the ascending order you need to mention the parameter reverse equals to true Let's move ahead. Here is the next task. We need to insert all the elements of L2 at the end of L1. It means we will get the elements of L1 first then L2. For that we can use extend method. First we will write L1 and in the extend method we will pass the parameter of L2. All right, this task is done. What's the next task? Write a statement to reverse the elements of the L2. we need to apply reverse function on the l2 so l2 dot reverse reverse method does not take any parameter so it's like this do we have some more questions based on the list in this sample paper let's check yeah i could find one output based question that we will cover in the next video
All right then, let's wrap today's video. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share it with your friends. In the next video, we will solve some output based question on the list. So stay tuned for the upcoming videos.